I've gotten a couple requests to talk about Tau. I believe the context of this is Pi versus Tau. Pi is about 3.1416 and Tau is double Pi. So it is approximately 6.2832. But why would we define something as two times Pi? It seems kind of arbitrary, but it's not arbitrary. Pi is the circumference over the diameter and Tau is the circumference over the radius. Since the radius is half the size of the diameter, that's what makes Tau twice as big because you're dividing by something that's half the size. So Tau is a naturally occurring ratio but all of our stuff involving circles is in terms of pi so it's easiest to think of tau as just two times pi so let's talk about circles the circumference is 2 pi r and the area is pi r squared and let's replace the pi with tau over 2. for the circumference we can cancel out these twos and it just becomes tau r so looking at the circumference tau times r is kind of nice this two here makes it a little less elegant but i really don't think it's that big of a deal if we had to choose maybe we could say tau wins but when we look at the area we have pi r squared or tau over 2 r squared. I think that the pi r squared is way simpler than tau over 2 r squared. So I would say in terms of area, pi wins. I do think this divided by 2 is kind of annoying. Next, if we look at a unit circle, I see a pi right here. What that pi is representing, pi radians. That's the same thing as saying 3.14 radiuses. If we have the radius, wrap it around the circle, and then we do it again and again. This right here is 3 radiuses. You can tell we're a little bit short of the pi, which is 3.14. And that's what the word radians means. Notice how this pi radians is exactly 1 one half of the circle. If we look up here, this pi over two, and that's one fourth of the circle. So let's go back to pi is equal to tau over two. If we plug in tau over two for the pi, this now becomes tau over two radians. And that's kind of nice. One half tau, and this is one half of the circle. There's a little bit of symmetry there. This would end up being tau over four radians. We have a one fourth tau and a one fourth circle. So tau has some nice symmetry when it comes to trigonometry in the unit circle. I think this is a good argument for tau. The fact that pi is not the same proportion of the circle, I can see people having trouble with these numbers not being the same thing as a circle. So I have one more question. Why do we even use radians? Why don't we use the diameter? And we can call them something like diametron. I'll show you what I mean. If we take the diameter, we spin it around the circle. So this right here would be one diametron. And then we do it again. This right here would be two diametron. And this right here would be three diametron. And you can see if we go a little bit further, it'd be 3.14 diametron. So that would mean that pi diametron is the entire circle. And now we have one pi correlates with one circle. Now let's clean this up. And then this right here, is half the circle, so that would be pi over 2 diametron. And now we have some symmetry involving pi. It's 1 half pi, 1 half circle. And the same thing happens up here. This would be pi over 4 diametron, and it's also 1 fourth of the circle. We have the symmetry of 1 fourth pi and 1 fourth of a circle. So ultimately, in the debate of pi versus tau, I think pi is going to win just because we've been doing it for thousands of years. That's just a standard in math today. But I have a new proposal. What about radians versus diametron? 